There are two types of automation in Samplitude. One is track automation and the other is object automation. In Samplitude Pro X, the two have been separated a lot more than in the previous versions. So to work with track automation, you deal with the track editor to the left here. So when a track is selected, there's a tick box here which says show. And when that is ticked, track automation is active. To work with object automation, do the following. Select the object and open the object editor by double clicking. You can also open the object editor by right clicking and choosing object editor or pressing control plus O. I'm going to undock this object editor by grabbing the tab here and pulling it up and I'm going to dock it to the top. So it's docked to the top left. Next thing I'm going to do is add a VST plugin to that object. So I'm going to the plugin slot, VST FX, and I'm adding camel space. Just move that over there. Have a quick listen without the effect. And with the effect. Okay, so we want to automate one of the camel space parameters. To do this, you first need to activate object automation. So go to this column where it says automation and tick the box which says show. And if you look at the track editor, you'll see that the track automation has been unticked. So if I untick show for the object automation, the track automation will become active. Therefore, turning off one activates the other. I'm now going to activate object automation draw mode by clicking on the icon and where it says no effect, left click and go down to the bottom and you should find your plugin listed there with all the parameters which are available for automation. In this case, there's up to 344 parameters. I'm going to start with number one, which is transgate on. So I'm selecting that from the list and you can see now in this top box, we have the name of the plugin, which is Camel Space. And below we have the parameter, which is active for automation. So if I place my mouse over the object, you can see the pencil is active. This is because I've activated automation draw mode. And if I just left click once, the automation will automatically be added at that position. Incidentally, if you find that the colors aren't showing that well, you can change the background color of a selected object, which I'm going to do now, in fact. Press Y to open these system options. Go to Colors here. Selected Object Top. I'm going to left click and change it to black, which I find is sometimes good for automation because it shows a lot clearer. So there you go. So I'm going to just click at the top here and then click at the bottom. And if I hit play, you're here automation is now working for that parameter. If you want to delete that, choose Edit Selected Curve, Delete, so that curve will be removed. So I'm going to try adding a different sort of effect. Go to Camel Space again and we'll have something else. Filter Mix, which is parameter 9. Again, just click and it automatically gets inserted. We'll see what happens now. You can see the automation is animating the control. So if I want to add another automation curve, just left click again and choose a second one. Let's try something like distortion soft saturation. Left click again. You can see that curve is a different color. So I'm going to add some automation nodes by left clicking. You can see the soft sat is moving. So if you left click here, you can see that the two parameters which are being used for automation are at the top of the list, distortion soft sat and MM filter mix. So if you want to edit the filter mix curve, you have to select that and that becomes the active curve, you see. 
And if I want to add some changes to the distortion soft sat, you click that and that becomes the active curve. So that's basically how you get up and running using object automation.